Welcome to the dashboard tutorial brought to you by WPTutor.com. The dashboard presents some useful links and an overview of some aspects of your site. Let's look at them quickly. This first link will take you straight to the post writing page. Update your profile or change your password will allow you to enter your personal information like your home page, email address and change your password. It's a good idea to change your password straight away from the randomly generated password that WordPress gives you by default. Add link to your blog role will allow you to add links to the sidebar of your blog. Change your site's look or theme will allow you to choose a new color scheme or theme for your blog and to choose the bits and pieces that go in the sidebar of your blog. The documentation link will take you to the documentation at the WordPress.org website. And support forums will take you to the support forums at WordPress.org. The grey box to the right presents the latest activity on your blog. It shows comments and your most recent posts, as well as a few statistics on the number of posts, comments and categories and tags you've got on the site. These two little arrows will take you to the comments moderation page. The comments and moderation link will take you straight to the comments moderation page where you can approve comments that uh, have gone into moderation or delete comments or basically do any kind of comment related administration work. The specific links on the comments will take you to the author's website, to the comment where you'll find it on your blog and to the comment editing page where you can edit this comment. The two arrows next to posts will take you to the posts management page and the links below will take you to the pages where you can edit these posts directly. The blog stacks section shows you a bit of information about your blog, how many posts, comments, categories and tags you have. The WordPress development blog presents news from the WordPress development blog surprisingly enough and gives you updates about the latest developments in WordPress. Other WordPress news gives you some updates on other sites that are reporting on WordPress and a few things that are going on in the WordPress world. Thanks for joining us for the WordPress dashboard tutorial. If you'd like to get more WordPress tutorials, head on over to wptutor.com.